the Supreme Court has dismissed the application of the People's Democratic Party Emeka Ihedioha, seeking an overturn of the Apex Court's January 14th judgment, which nullified the electoral victory of Ihedioha and ordered that a certificate of return be issued to Senator Hope Uzadima of the All Progressive Congress APC. Six of the justices that sat on the panel unanimously agreed that a decision by the Apex Court, led by Justice Tanko Bahamud, should stand while Justice Chima Weze gave a disagree. In the studio with me is Barrister Zainat Abiri, and joining us via telephone is also Barrister Joseph Ayanti. Thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news. Thank you. Um, uh, Barrister Joseph, are you with us? Yes, I'm with you here. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us as well. Um, let, let me start Thank with you, you Zenad. Your yes. uh, reaction to the ruling. Is it, is it your expectation what came out or you had hoped as uh, some others had, and Ihedioha, for instance, mm -hmm. that there will be a review and a precedent set by this? I, the decision is exactly what I had hoped. In the view of um, the recent Biosa State's um, judgment. judgment, and also because um, you are also relying on the provisions of the Constitution, which doesn't permit for appeals to lie um, above. There's no um, appellate court higher than the Supreme Court, so it's a process that's not known to our laws. Joseph, uh, what's your take on that? Did you get the question? Yes, uh, thank you very much. Um, the, the point uh, is that the Supreme Court of Nigeria is the final court as far as this country is concerned. And the um, Supreme Court cannot sit on appeal in its own judgment. The rule of the rules of the Supreme Court allows the Supreme Court uh, possibly to correct typographical or uh, what we call um, some minor errors in its judgments. That is the extent the Supreme Court can go. So what uh, happened yesterday is what it ought to be that is how it ought to be because if we allow supreme court to sit on appeal it is its own judgment it, that simply means it's no more the final court and it is final not because it cannot make a mistake we, we are not saying that there may not be mistake in that judgment but what we are saying is that no matter how serious that mistake can be once judgment is made in stance. Wouldn't that, if there is a mistake, Joseph, if there is a mistake that needs yes. to be reviewed and it is not done because we say this is the Supreme Court, isn't that a bad precedent to be certain for our justice system? No. You see, the Supreme Court at the same time have the t opportunity and time to correct whatever wrong decision it has been might have made in a subsequent case that has similarity. In a, in a, for, for instance, in Rivers State, the Rotmi Ameshi was pronounced the winner of an election. He never took part of in. Then subsequently the Supreme Court now came up to say don't give this as reference. It corrected itself. But for instance, in this Simon state, the Supreme Court said, declare uh, of Muslims or the winner. But in Bayesa state, the Supreme Court corrected itself and asked INEC that has the duty to pronounce a winner to go back and compute and come up with a winner if there is any. So I believe that in as much as we understand that there are mistakes, for instance, the 388 uh, 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 votes. 
Let, 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 me, let me interject uh, again, uh, Barrister Joseph. The, 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 uh, and let me bring uh, Zenad in and, stay, and still stay with that question. If there is a perception, which you seem to agree as well, that there, there must have been some issues that needed to be reviewed, isn't it a miscarriage of justice if the Supreme Court, because it is the Supreme Court, refuses to take this on? In my own uh, views, the... Supreme Court did not err. I still stand on my ground. The only errors that the Supreme Court can correct are mere clerical errors, just like my colleague has said, or errors that are meant to give life or effect to the decision itself, not errors that are meant to change, correction of errors that are meant to change the original, the original decision. decision. Okay, what about the one discerning voice, dissenting voice rather? of uh, barrister um, Justice Weze. You know, he held that there was need for review of the Ihedioha case. I, I know he, he was outvoted, but that, the fact that there is one voice that said mm -hmm. something needs to be done, doesn't that raise well, some dust? Um, the Supreme Court um, goes by the majority vote. A decent decision well, this is, the dissent was very interesting. I read through it yesterday. I noted um, the point he made was leaving the decision as it is could lead to miscarriage of justice. But then there are several dis um, decisions of the Supreme Court. One of the reasons why it is the Apex Court is so that there is an end to litigation. If not, you will find it, litigation already sometimes will take decades in courts. So if appeals are allowed from the... Supreme Court, there will it will just be an endless circle of uh, legal battle. All right, let me let me ask Joseph this: um, Is there any relevance to the fact that there was one uh, voice that said no, there was a need for review? Is there any relevance to uh, the judicial system going forward? Yes, anyway, um, the, what uh, Justice Moses said yesterday demonstrates that we we are in democracy. It's a dissenting uh, judgment. However, I would say that he actually made a, a point, very vital point. But I disagree with him in some some of his uh, position. For instance, he said that there is a need for Supreme Court to actually revive that application by also the man before it can assume jurisdiction. Because if, a, if a, 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 an application is struck out by court of appeal, for Supreme Court to come up and take jurisdiction over it, you have to first of all make a pronouncement nullifying the previous stand of the court of appeal. Then you now accept the application and you assume jurisdiction and entertain. I agree with him to that extent. But Lee also said that it is somehow that the number of accredited voters was less than the number of votes. And I disagree with him because by the time you calculated the number of voters, accredited voters, there was an exclusion already. And that exclusion was what the Supreme Court has now said, no, such exclusion was illegal. The Supreme Court now accepted the, 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 those excluded um, votes. So having uh, accepted it, it can also count as number of accredited voters have been issued. So I, I don't think uh, what uh, when they said yesterday will have much to do with the, our system. He has said his stand, but I am of the opinion that what the justices has said is the correct thing. You cannot sit on appeal on your own judgment. That is why it is the final court. If there's any need for any amendment in subsequent uh, uh, time, there will be those. When matters of similar uh, 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 similarity comes to it, it will, the, the Supreme Court will have the chance to correct itself. All right, let's. So let's... it has not done any, any anything bad to our judicial system. Okay, uh, let me ask, oh, you just answered a bit of the question I was going to ask, and that um, is this whole situation um, a sore point or a learning curve for Nigerian judiciary? Yes, um, it is. 
one of the major issues raised by the EHDOHA application was the APC, um, what's this? They didn't, uh, they at, at all times during their petition had alleged that the election was a nullity. It was not um, valid. They had, by their words, invalidated it and yet are profiting from the same uh, decision, from the same um, election that they had by themselves alleged was not properly legally conducted. So I think there, sh there should have been a pronouncement on that issue. Okay. Thank you very much for your thoughts on the news, Barrister. Thank you.